Faith requires a firm decision. Genesis chapter 15 verses 1 through 6. After these things, the word of the Lord came to Abraham in a vision saying, Do not be afraid, Abraham. I am your shield, your exceedingly great reward. But Abraham said, Lord God, what will you give me, seeing I go childless? And the heir of my house is Eliezer of Damascus. Then Abraham said, Look, you have given me no offspring. Indeed, one born in my house is my heir. And behold, the word of the Lord came to him, saying, This one shall not be your heir, but one who will come from your own body shall be your heir. Then he brought him outside and said, Look now toward heaven, count the stars if you are able to number them. And he said to him, So shall your descendants be. And he believed in the Lord, and he accounted it to him for righteousness. In order to have faith in God, we must have a firm decision, a quality decision on what we are going after. We have Abraham's example here where Abraham had a promise from God. God's promise to Abraham was, Abraham, I'm going to make you the father of a big nation, which implied that Abraham had to have at least a child. Now time has passed by and I'm in the 15th chapter of Genesis and God once again begins to talk to Abraham and this time Abraham is quite discouraged. He's saying, God, you know, you said I'm going to be the father of a great nation. I've obeyed you. I've started my journey. Uh, but here I am. I don't have any child. Could it be that uh, you are referring to anybody who's born in my household, even someone who was born to one of my servants. Uh, uh, were you referring to somebody like that? Uh, is that what you were talking about when you said you're going to make me the father of a big nation? So Abraham is having this conversation with God and then God clarifies and says, Abraham, this is what I want you to zero in on. Somebody that is born from your own body. That is what I'm talking about. That is what you must go after. You're going to have you and Sarah, you, both of you, you are going to have a child. And then God says, Abraham, you know, and this must have been a, a, a clear night sky in, in the Middle East. God brings him out of his tent and says, Abraham, look at the sky. Can you look at all the stars? Can you number them? They are innumerable. But that's how many your descendants are going to be, your descendants. So God at this time in Genesis 15 is settling once and for all. Uh, is bringing Abraham to a place of a firm decision. Somebody that I am going to father is going to be my child. And through that person, there's going to be a, a, a great nation raised. There is no doubts about it. There is no second, third or fourth options. No, this is the way it's going to happen. So what did God do? He brought him into this place for a clear cut, firm decision. This is what I'm going after. This is what God has promised for me. So in order to have faith, first, like we said yesterday, we must have a desired outcome. Faith must pursue a hope. It must pursue a goal. Secondly, we must understand in order to walk by faith, in order to exercise faith in God, our, our faith must be firm. It must be based on a firm decision. This is what God said he would give me. There is no, uh, you know, maybe or may not be. No, God said, I will have a child. That's what it'll be. So you must make a firm decision on what you believe God wants you to go after. Faith is based on a quality decision. You've decided that this is what God is going to give to you. Go after that. Don't be double-minded. A double-minded man, the Bible says, is unstable, is irresolute. He will not receive anything from the Lord. Let's pray. Father, we ask that you'll help us be firm in our decisions to know for sure what you want us to pursue and to go after that, to put our mind to the goal, the hope, the thing that you want us to possess so that we can be firm in our decision and in our exercise of faith. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. 
For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.